An easy way for a beginner to start dithering is to just choose a shape, apply one shadow tone, so you have two tones, one for the light and one for the shadows, then create a checkerboard pattern with these two colors, create a third color for a mid-tone and shade the object with the said mid-tone wherever it would go, remember the area of that mid-tone, select the checkerboard pattern, press Ctrl B to create this brush tool, then press G to select the paint bucket tool and click on this mid-tone area and you will have your detailing effect. This is how you can easily practice where exactly your detailing pattern should go. This also applies to flat surfaces like the cubes and rounder surfaces like spheres. In fact, if I zoom out of this sphere, notice what will happen in A sprite, it will automatically create a mid-tone even though I'm zoomed out. I'm still on the same frame, so if I zoom in, you will see the dithering pattern. If I zoom out, it will blend it into a single tone. This is how you know the placement of your dithering pattern is good.